Hey there folks, welcome to the Bubble Round Tree Outdoors channel, I'm your host Wade Rush. Welcome to part 3 of the uh, M2000 pattern testing video. I was bringing you guys along and have brought you along for from ground zero to today's video. Uh, the reason I say today's video was in part 3, we got it ironed out, we, we like what we see and we're going to stick with it. What we're going to show you today is that even the smallest changes and some of the most insignificant things that you would think would be insignificant, uh, like just ten thousandths difference in a choke constriction. What we did today to uh, get Junior's gun dialed in is we, uh, we installed a howler choke, a kicks howler choke which is uh, their coyote choke, which is a light full. It is basically a light full buck kicker. Um, it is the buck kicker standard full here, and then you've got your extra full buck kicker right here. The howler is right in the middle. Six, uh, 690 constriction standard full in the standard full buck kicker, 690 constriction. 670 constriction in the extra full 680 constriction in the light full howler. It's hard to believe that such minute changes just in the dimensions of a choke could make such huge differences in performance. Y'all watch this. Okay folks, as I said, the, the slightest change in dimensions can make a huge difference in performance. So here in part three, we've got a kicks howler, which is the, uh, the, the kicks choke designed for coyotes, but actually what it is is a buck kicker choke that is in a light full, which is a 680 constriction instead of a 690 constriction. So it's just a little bit tighter. It is between an extra full and the full choke. It's right in the middle of it. So we, we got the howler in here now. Going to shoot the same rounds out of it and see if that makes a difference in JP's M2000. Just like the other one's first shot is the 10 pellet triple off. It ain't pinched in this thing, it's just sitting on the top of it. All right. It's actually not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of ten. I don't see any double hits. We got eight out of ten, and we're at 60 meters, 65 yards. That's a uh, like I said, deer's heart is about the size of your fist. All of these right here would have been in the kill zone, probably these two as well. And these are 36 caliber pellets. Let's see how it does with double off. I think we may shoot some red box Winchester today. In my experience, over all the years I've done this, Winchester usually on average will out pattern the Remington ammunition usually most of the time. Here we go, 15 pellet, Remington 3 inch double off. Remington factory ammunition. I know some folks may call that a light primer strike. Looks to me like it hit it pretty good. Brand new round right out of the box. But uh, factory ammo goes boom every time you pull the trigger, right? Oh, uh, maybe not. That's 
locking in the battery. All right, let's see what happens this time. Twelve seventy four. Good. See, so look like we're gonna have a good pattern on the lower half, but it, it threw them low, and that might be me. I'm just not used to JP's gun. And he's got two front sights on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven of fifteen in the lower half of the paper. And that's gonna be me. There you go. Okay, update, folks. Rachel already covered these two. She spotted two that I didn't see that hit the paper here. So we had uh, one, two. She's already covered these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of fifteen. Thirteen of fifteen, twelve of fifteen in the lower half. And like I said, that's going to be me not exactly knowing where to hold JP's gun. So uh, that's a great pattern right there. Okay, this is the 41 pellet Remington number four box for inch manor. Alright folks, here we go. They're all right there. Close to one another. Very pretty winter afternoon here in the 50s. Okay, folks, I think, I think that's going to be Junior's best pattern with the number four buck yet. And we're talking just something going from a 690 constriction to a 680. Same choke design, just a little bit tighter. And can make huge differences. Look at all this here. Look at this right here in the center of the paper, right here. Let's see what we do have. We got one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, three in the bull, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Thirty pellets at sixty-five yards. So far, his gun now, now with just that little bit of a change, will shoot all three of those rounds easily. The triple alt, the double alt, and his number fours that he's wanting to shoot. So just as a bonus, just to see, we're going to shoot it with the Winchester 24 pellet number one because my gun absolutely loves the number ones. And we're just going to see how, because uh, that's the only one we can find number ones in unless I reload them. So we're going to try Winchester 24 pellet number one just to see how it does. Stand by. Well, folks, the Winchester number one, 24 pellet number one buck three inch magnum isn't impossible to find, but it ain't easy to find. The only place I have been able to find it and find it in stock is at Sportsman's Guide. Uh, and if you find it there, you better get what you can get or what you can afford to get because they usually don't have it for long. But my Stoger loves this stuff right here. Absolutely loves it. And so we're going to check it out in JP's M2000 and see if his likes these 24 pellet number ones. Red pills. It's advertised at a, just over a thousand foot per second. I got 963. That is one terrific pattern right there, folks. 
30 caliber pellets, 24, 30 cal pellets. A lot of folks are probably closer to a 29 caliber, 28, 29 caliber now. But uh, let's see what we got. Pattern is well centered in the paper. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, or twenty-four. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen or twenty-four uniform right here in the center of the paper. That's great. We've decided we're going to go ahead, since I've got a 15 pellet double alt Winchester, we're going to shoot the 15 pellet double alt Winchester just to see if this is an improvement over the Remington uh, 15 pellet uh, double alt. Well, folks, these are easier to find than the uh, number ones, the standard Winchester 15 pellet double alt. Like I said, they're not, they're not easy to find, but they're easier than the 24 pellet number ones to find. Since we're already set up here, we're going to give this a try and see how JP set up likes the 15 pellet Winchester. 15 pellet red pill Winchester double off. Folks, I have to say, as far as improvement goes from where we started out with his regular factory choke, this is one of the biggest improvements right here. This was the double alt that he only hit the paper with five or six pellets with both times we shot it with his, uh, with his standard full factory choke in his Stoger. This is the 15 pellet Winchester double alt. The pattern is well centered, well dispersed. It's 28 inches across his target. So it's minus five, minus four, minus nine, 19 inches. And a 19 inch circle right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 of 15 and a 19 inch circle at 60 meters or 65 plus yards. Let me try, I'm gonna make sure that I didn't miss anything, did I, honey? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 of 15 and a 19 inch circle. He could shoot, he could shoot the Remingtons, he could shoot the Red, he can shoot anything in it he wants to right now that you can buy off the shelf as far as Remington and Winchester buckshot go. He could shoot anything. But I'm sure Junior needs a shotgun back. So we found something that's gonna work. He won't have any excuses next year, folks. Appreciate y'all riding along with us. So if you find yourself with a shotgun that's not performing right, do your pattern testing, find out what it likes, what it don't like, and like today we even added the uh, Winchester ammunition. I haven't been using it a whole lot because it has a, uh, a bad reputation of jamming in Benelli's and a lot of your fast uh, autoloaders. The, the wall on the Winchester Western is just way thinner than the uh, Remington and the Federal. But anyway, I don't, I don't think Junior's had any trouble with the Winchesters in his shotgun, and the Winchester buckshot is at times extremely hard to find. So we tried to stay with the stuff that's easy to find, but sometimes it just don't work out that way. Junior wanted to be able to go to the store, buy whatever he needed, not bother me about reloads and stuff like that. He just wanted to be able to go get what he needed if he needed it, and he would like to be confident that a shotgun would shoot whatever he put in it and now he can. So anyway, let's wrap this thing up folks. I hope y'all enjoyed the series. We're ending up part three of the M2000 pattern series. We had a great result with it. Outstanding results. Very, very tickled with it. I'd like to thank Mr. Chuck Boswell over at Kicks Chokes for sending over those Howler Chokes for me to, uh, to try. You'll have to send me some more, Chuck. I declare, I just I just keep giving away the chokes as fast as I get them. So, um, this is Wade, host of the BRO channel. We'll be back with lots, lots more here very soon, folks. Bye-bye.